We have a follow-up now to a story we first brought to you yesterday. A woman who traveled on a Sunwing flight that lost her wheelchair has finally gotten it back. Now, the problem, she says, that it was delivered in the middle of the night and it was damaged. Lama Nicola reports. Rose Finley's husband has been carrying her from the couch to the bed for the past two days. My son tells me, Mommy, don't go back to bed. Stay and play with me. And when my chair got here this morning, my son jumped up in my bed and told me, Mommy, get dressed. Your wheelchair is here. Come play with me. Sunwing Airlines delivered her custom-fit wheelchair this morning after it was lost on a flight back from Cuba. But she doesn't feel safe using it. It's just sitting there because... I'm not going to put myself at risk by using a chair that doesn't have a straight frame. The brake lever is bent. Are these pieces here? And they're pretty scratched up. In a statement, Sunwing says the wheelchair was inspected and photographed, and there were no visible indications of any damage. At this point, we have been unable to confirm the receipt of any communication to the contrary. We remain very apologetic for the two days that Ms. Finley spent without her wheelchair. The airline says it offered Finley a replacement wheelchair at the airport, but she denies that happened. She was also offered a full refund for her trip. It's not about the refund. It's about the injustice of treating another human being that way. Finley now plans to file a human rights complaint. David Lepofsky is a member with Barrier Free Canada, which is calling on the federal government to pass a National Disabilities Act. They would set standards to make sure that barriers like this don't happen, and they wouldn't leave it to individuals to have to fight one human rights complaint at a time up against a giant airline. Finley says her whole experience was traumatic. She had to wait for her wheelchair when she arrived in Cuba and says their flight home was changed from a direct flight to one with a stopover. And now this. A wheelchair is a prescribed medical device. It's something that people with disabilities need to live. She says it would cost thousands of dollars to fix or replace the wheelchair. La Manicola, Global News.